Hey everybody, Dan Holstein here, helping your business take flight. And today we're talking about measurement, specifically measuring the things in your business that are critical to your growth and success. So how do we know what to measure? Well, first of all, we only want to measure a few key things or a few key things per department or functional area of the business. Otherwise, we're going to end up having too much data. It's going to be a mess. We're not going to take any action on it. And the only reason really we measure is so that we can confirm that things are working or to see that we're making the change that we want to see in that particular area of the business. So how do we determine what needs to be measured? Well, it's where you want to see change. If you need to improve your profitability, let's start by measuring our profits. If you need to change the quantity of, uh, of your sales, let's measure our sales activity. If it's marketing, let's measure our marketing. But what exactly do we measure around these things? Well, let's take sales for an example. We're going to have a lagging indicator, which is going to be how many sales were actually made. And we're going to have leading indicators. The leading indicators are activities that will lead to the sale, lead to that outcome of the sale, which is the lagging indicator. It's lagging because something else has to happen first before you get the sales outcome. So we can measure sales results. We can measure sales by uh, product line, by service line, by geography, by client type. So we can break that down so we can see trends, right? So those are always outcomes. And then we can measure our leading indicators, the actions that we take that lead towards sales happening. Now, everyone has a slightly different sales process. So for your sales process, there's going to be some level of prospecting. So we want to measure what are those prospecting activities that we're taking per day, per week, per month. We want to measure, say, maybe it's how many proposals did we submit? How many uh, phone calls did we make? How many networking events did we go to? How many people did we actually talk to on the phone? How many did we talk to face-to-face? -to -face? So you want to measure the key actions that you know that when they happen, they lead to a sale. So and you want to put them in just a simple dashboard. And it could be something as simple as Excel, where you just have the different columns. It could be a whiteboard. Um, it doesn't really matter what it is, technological or not, simple, whatever, whatever works for you and your team to be able to see the leading indicators that are leading to the outcome you want, and then the lagging indicator, the actual outcomes. And this is where we start to spot trends. If we're not seeing the outcomes that we want to see, that's okay. We come back to our leading indicators. What needs to change in the activity that we're taking right now, that we're doing, that's going to lead to those outcomes? Is it the level of activity? Do, is it our sales ability? Do we need some training or coaching? Um, do we need to do more activity? Do we need to shift our, our focus to a different product or service because something that we're offering is no longer as relevant as, as it used to be? These questions are things that you're, you'll be able to answer because you're watching the data and you can see what's changing. So that's it for this week. Just make sure you're measuring what's important, what you want to see change in your business, measure your lagging indicators, but make sure that you measure your leading indicators, those actions that you can adjust and change to lead to the outcomes that you want to see. This is a pretty big topic. So if you have some questions about lagging, leading indicators, what to measure in your business, hit me up for a chat. I'm happy to help and get you straight forward on what you need to measure to get the growth and scalability that you're looking to see in your business. That's it for this time. We'll catch you next week. Have a great week.